Magandang araw mga kabaro! Welcome sa All Maritime Channel! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, please subscribe and click the notification bell para sa susunod pa naming mga videos. Bago tayo magsimula, gusto naming pasalamatan ang aming mga subscribers and followers dito sa All Maritime. Gusto naming malaman ninyo na ang inyong pag-subscribe ay nakaka-inspire sa amin para gumawa ng mga bago pang videos. In this video, we'll be discussing about the Certificate of Competency Requirements for Second Engineer Officer on Seagoing Ships Powered by Main Propulsion Machinery, of 3,000 kW propulsion power or more, and 750 kW to 3,000 kW, as per Marina Citizens Charter Handbook, December 2021 edition. Remember, Issuances for new COC applicants, and revalidation are for existing COCs that are near expiration date or totally expired. Note. Determine which application you are taking before proceeding, to avoid waste of time and money for unnecessary requirements. If in doubt, always make inquiries from Marina. Requirements for the issuance of COC for second engineer officer. On seagoing ships powered by main propulsion machinery of 3,000 kW propulsion power or more, passed the theoretical examination for engine management level. Passed the practical assessment for engine management level. COP and BT, SCRB, AFF, and MEFA. COC is OICEW. Approved seagoing service on ship powered by main propulsion machinery of 3,000 kW propulsion power or more of, not less than 12 months is OICEW. SIRB, SRB first page and entries. Valid medical certificate in PEME format. Requirements for the issuance of COC for second engineer officer on seagoing ships. Powered by main propulsion machinery of 750 kW to 3000 kW propulsion power, passed the theoretical examination for engine management level. Passed the practical assessment for engine management level. COP and BT, SCRB, AFF, MEFA. COC is OICEW. Approved seagoing service on ship powered by main propulsion machinery of 750 kW to 3000 kW propulsion power of, not less than 12 months is OICEW. SIRB, SRB first page and entries. Valid medical certificate in PEME format. Requirements for the revalidation of COC for second engineer officer on seagoing ships. Powered by main propulsion machinery of 3,000 kW propulsion power or more. COP and BT, SCRB, AFF, MEFA. COC is second engineer. Note. If expired COC, may complete and pass practical assessment prescribed by the administration appropriate to the certificate to be revalidated. SIRB, SRB first page and entries. Valid medical certificate in PEME format. Approved seagoing service on ship powered by main propulsion machinery of 3,000 kW propulsion power or more is second engineer for a period of not less than 3 months within the last 6 months, or 12 months within the last 5 years. Note. Second engineer officer who do not meet the required seagoing service may demonstrate continued professional competence to revalidate their COC through either of the following. Pass the practical assessment prescribed by the administration appropriate to the certificate to be revalidated, or successfully completed the approved training course prescribed by the administration for purposes of revalidation appropriate to the certificate to be revalidated or approved seagoing service, performing functions appropriate to the certificate held, for a period of not less than three months in a supernumerary capacity, or in a lower officer rank than that for which the certificate held is valid immediately prior to taking up the rank for which the certificate held is valid. Requirements for the revalidation of COC for second engineer officer on seagoing ships 
powered by main propulsion machinery of 750 kW to 3000 kW propulsion power, COP in BT, SCRB, AFF, MEFA COC is second engineer. Note. If expired COC, may complete and pass practical assessment prescribed by the administration appropriate to the certificate to be revalidated. SIRB, SRB first page and entries. Valid medical certificate in PEME format. Approved seagoing service on ship powered by main propulsion machinery of 750 kW to 3000 kW propulsion power as second engineer for a period of not less than 3 months within the last 6 months, or 12 months within the last 5 years. Note. Second engineer officer who do not meet the required seagoing service may demonstrate continued professional competence to revalidate their COC through either of the following. Pass the practical assessment prescribed by the administration appropriate to the certificate to be revalidated, or successfully completed the approved training course prescribed by the administration for purposes of revalidation appropriate to the certificate to be revalidated or approved seagoing service, performing functions appropriate to the certificate held, for a period of not less than three months in a supernumerary capacity, or in a lower officer rank than that for which the certificate held is valid immediately prior to taking up the rank for which the certificate held is valid. Process of submission of application, and receiving of certificate. Remember, COE is already part of COC, so no more COE certificate. Personal appearance is no longer required for regular STCW certificate application. Except for expedite applications and application that needs clarification. Submission of application. Sign into MISMO system. Select transactions. Select certification. Select COC transaction and proceed. Upload requirements and click Submit. Wait for online evaluation. If approved, set appointment date and pay corresponding fee. Receiving of certificates. After the appointment date, sign into MISMO system. Click Certificates and the list of your STCW certificates will appear. Validity of each certificate will be indicated as well. You can select View to see your certificate. You can save soft copy of your certificate. If you want a hard copy, you can print certificate to an A4 size bond paper and don't forget to sign on the printed copy. That's all for the certificate of competency requirements for second engineer officer on seagoing ships powered by main propulsion machinery of 3000 kW propulsion power or more and 750 kW to 3000 kW, as per Marina Citizens Charter Handbook, December 2021 edition. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to All Maritime. Kung sa tingin mo, makakatulong ang video na ito, sa iba pa nating mga kabaro, please like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell para sa mga susunod pa naming mga videos. Follow us also on our Facebook page at All Maritime. Thank you.